Hey everybody, it's Bill from MattTracker.com and welcome to this episode of Beyond the Mask. Now, I know you're used to me saying behind there, but beyond is where I step outside the boundaries of mask sometimes to talk about other things I like and care about. And it just so happens that this is one of them. But before we get started, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. You get updates uh, whenever we post something new. And don't forget, we have other collaborators on this channel, uh, different shows. So make sure you give those a watch. Our merch store has some new t-shirts in it. If you want to look your best, and who doesn't, I highly suggest getting one of those. Um, but, you know, all that aside, I decided to venture out into the wild. And I just wanted to do something a little bit different. And uh, it, 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 was a, it was a good time. The amount of video that I have shot for this doesn't encompass the amount of time I spent at this place. Um, it's called Play With This Collectibles. It's located in Merchantville, New Jersey. The address will be in the description. It's really close to my house, like five minutes. And every so often I'll pop over there. Um, they have a really great place. And make sure when you're here, you talk to Todd. Todd's the boss. He's about this tall. And he's usually on the ground. So just make sure you, make sure you talk with him. But I always, I always find it interesting when people go out into the wild, so to speak, to try to find something, whether it's at a new store, you know, Walmart, Target, etc. Uh, and speaking of that, Target has some of the, the Revelation figures coming out for Masters already. Uh, Skelegod, I think, is out. Not really one that I really want, but I was hoping to have others. Um, yeah, you got Target, Walmart. Of course, you got Amazon. Walgreens has stuff from time to time. Um, but when you find those collectible shops and you're able to kind of look at everything at once, and it's going, you know, you're not, might, you're not going to see, and you know, you're not going to see everything you ever wanted, but you're going to see a lot of cool stuff. And almost every time I've been there, I've at least purchased one item to bring back to put in my collection. So let's take a look at the video that I shot here. We'll go over it. And, um, I'll show you what I got at the end of the video here. Enjoy. Mass will be right back, and so will Venom. So here's an exterior shot of the store. Uh, you got a stormtrooper there. He'll be greeting you at the door, along with Todd. Make sure you find him. But here's a there's kind of an overview of what you're going to see in the store. Uh, a lot of really cool stuff. This wall here is like all, all DC and Marvel. A lot of really cool stuff here. Um, some of the older items too. From the Batman the Animated Series line, um, Total Justice, like things like that. Here's a bunch of loose DC and Marvel figures. Uh, mostly 6-inch scale. There's some 7-inch scales in there as well. So you got those. Got some Dragon Ball Z there. And yeah, I just wanted to show you some of the older ones down here too. Some carded Spider-Man figures, some Simpsons. Got some, got some wrestling figures right there. And then, wait, nope, can't forget about, yeah, can't forget about this. Giant ass Millennium Falcon. I gotta go back. Oh, there's some turtles there, by the way. Some turtles. And behind there, a lot of cool stuff. Just anyway, look at this thing. Look at that. Perfect angle to greet you as you come in. All right, so we're going to the back where there's some older items. You're going to see some Mego figures back here. Um, some Joes that are carded. I think these were mostly of the newer ones, not the old ones. Um, but there's some of the Mego figures. And here you have some Joes. Uh, complete, a lot of really cool stuff there. If I collected them, I'd be more impressed. But uh, same thing with Transformers. I don't really collect them. But I know there's a lot there that a collector would want to gravitate toward. So uh, hopefully you can get there one day. There's a Voltron. There's some Battle Beasts that I do collect. So I'll be hitting those up again one day soon. There's some Black Series Star Wars figures. And then we have some of the original uh, Star Wars figures, some of the newer ones here. And we have over here. Yeah, there's... The, more power of the force figures right there and then we kind of 
you got a nice shot of Yoda here wearing an eagle's helmet. And then in this last one here, there's um, some Kong Godzilla stuff. Now back to mask. Yeah, uh, again, if you're in the area in general, um, you know, take a take a drive over to play with this collectibles. Um, it's a really nice place. Uh, very friendly, very knowledgeable staff. If you have questions about a figure that you're looking at, they'll be able to help you out right away. Um, and just overall, just great, a great experience. And just for posterity, uh, I got my racetrack set, the slot car there. Uh, I saw it posted on his Facebook page. I said, hold it. I'll be right there. So then I kind of said, any mass stuff that's weird, just tell me about it. Um, <laughs> But I, I do remember getting it. It was, a, it was pretty cool to find that out in the wild like that. Um, but what did I get on this trip? So I'll show you. Oh, oh my cat's eating the bag. One second. All right, just give me the bag. Give me, give me the bag. Give me the bag. All right. So um, I didn't get a lot. I'll, I'll start with that. But what I did get was this Iron Man figure. And I know Iron Man figures are very overproduced everywhere, but I wanted one that looked like the original uh, Secret Wars figure. And this was pretty close. I don't remember what line this was from because it seems to be a little bit bigger. I'm almost positive it is. So I don't think it's a classics or, or I don't think it's a Marvel legend from the older version i got it because i just like the way it looked i wasn't looking at it to go oh i can resell this in 10 days at a higher cost because i bought it low no i i've been looking for one like this and it just so happens i found that today so um yeah if you know which one it is you can tell me in the comments i you know it doesn't it's not going to change anything but it'll be going over here in um in my Kind of mix of DC and Marvel and all the other stuff characters. So uh, not too bad. So that was one. And then this, well, I was not expecting to find this. It's my wife's favorite superhero, the Phantom. Not based off the Defenders of the Earth by any means. It's based off of the movie with Billy Zane. And I remember it as being like one of the first superhero movies that we would watch together, like when we first started dating. So the Phantom always has a special place in our heart. And I'm going to unbox it because I don't, I don't keep stuff in boxes. So here he is, the Phantom, right? There's the back of the box, Defenders of the Earth. There we go. All right. So... Get my my trusty batarang here, and let's get it open. Remember, do not attempt anything that I'm doing here at home um, with this knife, because only trained professionals use this. Those two walks are stuck with twist ties. In the comments while I'm struggling here, do you like the twist ties better or do you like the newer stuff where you kind of, it's kind of elastic and you just cut it? Me, yeah, I'm, I'm still on the fence on a couple things. So here he is. The ghost that walks. And we'll compare on the Iron Man real quick. Uh, this is about a seven inch scale. He would be six. So let's get a close up of this. There we go. Look at that. He's got the ring. He's ready. He's ready. Comes with a couple guns. Couple different fists. 
I don't remember what this is. I guess it has something to do with the show itself and not the movie. If you know what that is in the comments, let me know. Um, but yeah, all in all, it wasn't a bad trip. Um, the one thing I wish this did have was a holster to put the gun in. But other than that, I have no qualms with it. It'll look good in the collection. So I had the original Defenders of the Earth Phantom figure down there. So um, it'll be good to have both. So there you go. But if you have any questions about anything I have here or anything in general, mask wise, or if you have any questions about the shop, or if you to leave a comment here and I'll answer it the best I can. And um, hopefully you'll be able to join me again on the next time I, I head out there. So until next time, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to help keep Mask alive. And this is Bill from MattTracker.com, and I'll talk to you later.